Welcome to Word Lab, everybody. I'm going to focus on a single basic English word that you probably already know and just simply show you some next level ways to use it. Ready? Let's get started. And the word of the day is... Whoa! And I know what some of you are thinking right now, so stop that. But for the rest of us, typically you would use blow like, uh, as in blow out a candle. Or the wind is blowing. Let's take a look at some more advanced next level ways to use the word blow. Yes, it can also mean to explode. So if you say something blew up or it's going to blow up, it means it's going to explode. My dinner blew up in the microwave because I cooked it too long. I left a banana on a chair and it blew up when I sat on it. Careful, that computer will blow up if it gets too hot. If your phone blows up, that just means you're super popular. You're getting a lot of text messages or phone calls suddenly. Maybe you just posted a picture of yourself eating some scrumptious, yummy dessert, and suddenly your phone is blowing up because of all the messages you're getting. All the likes and the comments. Feed that narcissism. My phone blew up because it's my birthday today and I'm so popular. Once I become famous, all the girls are gonna blow up my phone. I just know it. My boss blew up my phone the other day because I forgot to come to work. Now, if you are blown away, it means you are impressed with something. Or if you blow somebody else away, then you're impressing them. I was blown away when I found out my girlfriend is a K-pop star. Uh, that guy really blew away the competition with his speed. You gotta try this new pizza. It will blow you away. Blowing somebody out of the water. Well, that just means you're much better than them. You're way ahead of the competition. You can defeat anybody. Usually this is used if you're talking about sports or uh, some kind of competition. Their team blew us out of the water during the championship game. Oh, this restaurant is so good. It just blows everyone else out of the water. Hey, did you see that new Ferrari that came out? It's going to blow Lamborghini out of the water. It's a waste. It's ruined. If you blow it, that means you had an opportunity and you wasted it. You didn't take advantage of it. We were winning the game and then suddenly I blew it by missing all of my shots. Just be normal and t don't say anything weird to that girl. You'll blow your chance to go out with her. Ah, I blew it guys, sorry. That was my mistake. Okay, so a blow by blow is just a story with lots and lots of detail. Probably too much detail. Like somebody asks, oh, what did you do today? And then a blow by blow would be like, oh, I got out of bed and then I scratched myself and then I yawned and then I brushed my teeth. That's a blow by blow. Just every single detail. Uh, just tell me what you did, basically. I don't need a blow by blow. Really? He asked you out? Oh my gosh, I want to hear a blow by blow. Oh my gosh, every time I talk to him, he gives me a blow by blow of his day. So unnecessary. Now, a blow can also be a negative consequence, a setback, something bad that happens. Our company suffered a huge blow because of the poor economy. My self-confidence took a huge blow because the teacher yelled at me. <laughs> it was a major blow to our team when our star player got injured. Okay, and this last one is pretty funny because it actually means the opposite of its normal meaning. Instead of to blow out, it means to suck. <laughs> you don't want to use it with random strangers or your boss or something. It's too unprofessional. Hey, I heard you got dumped by your girlfriend. Dang, that blows. Our new teammate blows. She was supposed to be the best player all right, I know it was a lot, but here is a quick summary of all the different ways you can use the word blow.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is my first kind of video of this kind. So if you like this kind of video, message me, write me, send up a smoke signal, anything. Just let me know what you think. If you like it, then I'll just keep making more of it. Or if you don't like it, you can write in the comments. Dude, this video blows. Anyway, this has been Word Lab. See you next time.